Today I'm going to show you another simple method you can use to stretch your biceps femoris, which is a muscle that goes from your pelvis down to your lower leg. Sometimes this muscle can get snappy and poppy and can feel really crappy when you're in the gym doing a bunch of squats and deadlifts. So in this video, I'm going to show you a simple, simple stretch you can do at the gym. You just need a bench or some other flat surface. You can even do this on a couch. If you're looking for other options, I did make a previous video that talked about snapping hamstring syndrome, and I will link to that at the end of this video and in the description box. In the meantime, we're going to talk about how to actually stretch this muscle that goes down like so, and also has a short head that connects here to around mid femur. So. You're going to sit down, you're going to put your foot up on the bench. If you're really stiff and tight, you might already be looking like this, which is why I have the yoga block. So if you're already feeling like, oh man, I can't reach, then what you're going to do is sit on something higher so you have a little more range. Okay, you gave yourself a little slack on that muscle and now you might hopefully have a little bit more ability to reach your foot. Okay, when you're grabbing your foot, you're going to be grabbing so that you're going to the outside edge of your foot. So the pinky toe side, grab like the ring toe and the pinky toe, and you're going to be pulling those so that the outside edge of the foot is getting pulled back. And you're trying to get everything to come back here. Try to get the knee straight. If it feels like it's pulling the calf too much, you could also try this without pulling back, but I do recommend doing the pullback when you feel like you can tolerate it. And you'll notice I'm using my opposite side hand to reach for the foot. So this is my left leg I'm using my right hand. The reason we're doing this is to make sure I'm getting a twist, which is going to accentuate the stretch along the lateral hamstrings. The biceps femoris are your lateral hamstring muscles, and those get much more stretch when you can get the pelvis to twist so that the opposite side is closing in towards that foot, okay? So it's creating more adduction, <clears throat> meaning the, the femur is getting across the midline relative to the pelvis, right? So if I'm here and I twist this hip forward, it's going to create more tension on the outer hamstrings. So when we're sitting here, we're like this, like this, and we're just going to slowly try to get ourselves a little deeper into the stretch. This stretch, I find it's really, it's really nice to actually be in this stretch for a long time. So like one minute, two minutes, even three minutes, and just breathe calmly and slowly. A breathing technique that I found really helpful, I just learned from a surf instructor who was basically saying, hey, if you wanna you know, not drown, um, and you want to stay calm while you're surfing, you want to be breathing out longer than you breathe in to allow your body to stay calm. And th this is something when you're being really active, right? You're going, <sighs> trying to get the carbon dioxide out of your body. <sighs> and also what I found is that it um, really helps in the sense that I'm always gonna breathe in, but I'll sometimes forget to breathe out. So when I'm under tension, under stress, I just won't breathe out, and I'll just be doing really shallow inhales. But if I know, and I really focus on long controlled exhales, then I'm gonna breathe in. And that rhythm is gonna help me keep going a little bit further. Feeling a little less tight and stiff. and just feeling that stretch go all the way from hip joint down to the knee joint. Now, a couple of things you can do. You can do other breathing uh, patterns if you feel like there's one that really helps you relax better. If you wanna do even counts like box breathing, that's totally fine. If you find, again, that it's too intense to be pulling the foot back, you can reduce how much you're pu pulling the foot back. Um, you can also try bending the knee a little bit and see where that puts the stiffness. Ideally, you wanna feel the stretch somewhere along this long band. Could be anywhere along that band, but you don't wanna feel like it's so sharp you're about to feel something snap. That's just never 
That's never a good thing, right? Snapping things in your body, not good. If you're setting up with a yoga block and you still just feel so stiff you can't possibly reach, you can just try hanging out like this and then use your hip flexors to bring yourself forward. Or you can just use another yoga block and get yourself even higher so you can get closer in towards your foot. You can also use contract and relax in this stretch by thinking about pushing your heel down into the bench to contract those muscles on the back of your thigh. Hold that contraction for five seconds, maybe 10 seconds. If you're really good, you can do it for longer. And then you relax that contraction, fire up the muscles up here, your hip flexors, to see if you can pull yourself a little bit further forward and then do the opposite. You're pushing down, holding that contraction. And then when you relax these muscles, you fire up these muscles to try to pull further and deeper into the stretch. Also, you can think about trying to do a little knee bend. So it's still the heel digging into the bench, but it's knee bend. So you're using the, the hamstrings to create slight knee bend and then try to relax into it, right? So it's the same idea. You're just using the hamstrings in that lengthened position, contract, 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 and then relax it, try to pull yourself deeper in, okay? And then as you get better at this, you can always remove the block. Then you're just sitting on the bench and boy, isn't that nice? You don't need any extra accoutrement. And then down you go, same deal. Um, also, once you get more flexible, you can just start reaching over here if you'd like. Maybe use your other hand. Now you're doing all kinds of twister by yourself in the gym and don't you look cool. Make sure, of course, that you do both sides and check out which side is stiffer. Oh my God. Take your time to get better at this. Use elevation whenever you feel like you need it. And just remember to breathe. Remember to feel those muscles lengthening. Also, don't focus on getting close to your foot by bending your spine. This isn't really the point. Try to keep the spine relatively neutral. I'm not gonna be watching you and docking you points for having a little bit of rounding, but make sure you're feeling the hamstrings getting the strain and stretch, not your spinal muscles just curling and stretching out along your spine. To get the proper mechanics, you can think about somebody grabbing your underwear and giving you a wedgie while you're trying to get into the stretch, or think about there being a chain attached to the front of your pelvis just above your knotty bits, and that chain is pulling down, so the front of your pelvis is going down while the back of your pelvis is going up. And I suppose if you have a willing friend, you can have them actually try to give you a wedgie. But you might wanna check with your gym management to see if that kind of behavior is acceptable. As you do this stretch more and more, you're gonna notice that your femur is actually able to internally rotate better because this whole line of pull that normally keeps you in external rotation is going to reduce. You'll even be able to turn your feet pigeon-toed so you can audition for Kaiser Soze in the remake of The Usual Suspects. If this stretch feels super tight for you, I would suggest doing it at least twice a week and possibly even every single day at varying intensity levels. Some days you might want to hold it for a really long time, some days it's just a shorter period, and some days you might feel like things are just a little too worked and fatigued and maybe you should just lay off. If your body feels like you should just lay off, then you should respect that. Remember that slow is safe and fast is foolish. I've got a more in-depth video about snapping hamstring syndrome here. If you want to support this channel, use the donate link that you'll find down in the description box or use the join and thanks buttons on YouTube. Like, share, and subscribe with the bell notification on. And as always, I hope you remember that pain sucks. Life should.